2021 New Year's resolutions. Oh my God, everyone's so excited right now. It's time. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to change my health, my relationships. And then on average, science and statistics show us that 20 days into the new year, you're going to lose motivation towards these exciting New Year's resolutions that you're trying to set for yourself. So in 2021, what I'm going to go through is two subsets of how you can actually, and I'm going to be really quick in this video. So make sure you like pay attention, take notes, pause it when you need to. Okay. There's two subsets here that you must pay attention to if you're serious about setting your New Year's resolutions, but also making sure they get done. The first there's four categories I'm going to bring you through of goals you need to think through. And then I'm going to bring you through six ways to absolutely ensure that these goals and these resolutions that you're setting get done. My name is Bill Hauser, CEO of the SMB team. And over the past three years, we've tripled our company year over year. And I certainly know how to set goals in that process, especially at the beginning of a year. And I have a lot of unconventional ways about doing that, uh, which work. Um, and I'm going to share them with you in this video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for more real-time updates uh, about stuff like this, the stimulus checks, PPP, um, and ways to better market and grow your business. Hit that subscribe button. And also let me know in the comments uh, more stuff you want me to make on this topic. Okay, let's go through it right now. The four categories of New Year's resolutions, okay? Health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality, okay? So think through these four categories for yourself, okay? Now, health, everyone's going to set a goal around like losing weight or getting jacked or getting a six pack or all these things, but usually that's not enough. So a, a recommendation on your health goals is to know your calorie maintenance level, okay? Multiply your body weight times 15 and you can find your on average, your calorie maintenance level. If you eat above 15 times your body weight, you're not going to lose weight. Okay. Now, usually if you want to go on a cut and lose some weight in 2021, uh, you would multiply your body weight by 12. And then you would eat at that, at that rate of calories for a couple of weeks or, or months. Okay. Uh, so then next is health wealth. Okay. So what is wealth? Well, wealth I categorize as anything business related. Okay, that has monetization tied to it. Um, so anything business or career related, uh, you would put those goals in that category, be very specific with the goals. Okay, then health, wealth, relationships is the third category. Relationship goals, what do you mean? How many, this is a very important goal for everyone to have. How many like high leverage connections do you want to have in 2021? My goal is 20. I want to have, I want to form 20 new relationships with people that scare the crap out of me that I don't feel worthy to be around because they're so far beyond me. Right. And then also my give back pledge, my, one of my relationship goals is what I do on YouTube. For me, it's spiritual. It's me giving back through my YouTube channel, which again is why I want you to subscribe because we put out some really good stuff that can help you. So uh, number four is your spiritual goals. Okay. Your spiritual goals are who you want to be. For me, I have like power words that I've set for myself. I want to be mindful. Okay. I want to be a rapid action taker. I want to be ruthlessly transparent. Right. So having words that you can kind of run towards. Okay. Throughout 2021. Now, habits are what keep it going. Okay. So when we go into these six tips, which we're going to transition to right now, you'll see what I mean. Um, so you'd want to tie habits to these things, meditation, okay, uh, et cetera. Okay, so that's an example of setting spiritual goals. Now, let's go through the six ways to absolutely positively make sure that your goals get done. Okay, first, the first step is you have to make the goals public. Okay, this is absolutely essential. If you want to get your New Year's resolutions done, you have to make the goals public, meaning as soon as the goals are set, you have to immediately tell someone, tell your mom, tell your spouse, tell your kids, whoever the heck you need to tell, tell them immediately, hey, I am making a public declaration that I'm going to do X, Y, and Z in 2021. Hold me accountable, okay? That alone right there 
is a huge mistake for people who go on their own little island and set their New Year's resolutions. Tell someone else. That's step one to make sure they get done. Step two, okay? You also need to schedule something, okay? Really important to schedule something. So if you're committed, I always say commitments show themselves in either the wallet or the calendar, okay? Well, calendar is literally accessible to you right now, okay? So go onto your phone, your computer, and schedule something, right? Schedule something with a physical therapist. Pause the video right now and do that right now. Schedule something, okay? Number three is realize, and this is unfortunate truth, your surroundings are going to have to change, okay? It's not enough to go public about it. It's not enough to schedule something. If your surroundings don't change, meaning you're still surrounded by the same people who are thinking at the same levels, like you got to divorce some people. Every year I go through a clean out, right? Because I'm, I'm in growth mode, right? So every year I go through a clean out and I expect that half of the people I spent time with in 2020, I'm not going to spend time with in 2021. So if you want to grow, if you want a bigger future, if you want to accomplish your goals, you got to cut the people who are holding you back from that because your environment has more power over you than anything else, okay? Number four, okay, is habits, okay? It's not enough to just be motivated at the beginning of the year. Habits are what keep you going. Motivation gets you started. Your habits keep you going. So if you want to make a big New Year's resolution, understand the first like two months of 2021 are going to be your most important time window, okay? To show your body, hey, I'm serious about this. It's not just sticking through with it for 20 days, okay? University College London did a study and, and, and learned that it actually takes 66 days for human beings to form complex habits, okay? This could be the habit of going to the gym every day, no matter what. This could be the habit of meditating every day. Regardless, it takes 66 days, okay, for you to really get to where the habit's pulling you towards that, okay? So again, focus on habits, not just the initial motivation. Number five, what is the strategy? Another big reason that your New Year's resolutions fail is it's just some vague wishy-washy want, right? What is the strategy tied to your New Year's resolution? What is a strategy? Well, it's pretty much a game plan. It's not enough to say I want to win the Super Bowl and we're just going to hop on the field and run around. No, you got to come in with a game plan. Understand the game plan's probably going to break and not work. You got to come in with some plan to make these New Year's resolutions serious for you. Last but not least is what's the why? Okay, it's not enough to be motivated. Schedule it, uh, change your surroundings, divorce some people around you. Um, you know, it's not enough to just schedule the habits. You know, it's not enough to have a strategy. The most important thing beneath it all is that you are connected to your true motivating forces, right? So ask yourself, why do I want this? Why is this important to me this year? Okay. Who will it benefit other than me, right? Sometimes your why is going to be more about other people than it will be about yourself. So I hope you found this video valuable. Again, four categories, health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality, and then avoid these six mistakes, okay? Use these six tactics I just gave you to make sure that your New Year's resolutions actually happen in 2021. 2021 is gonna be an amazing year if you want it to be, okay? So come in with a big future-based mindset, and here's a bonus tip, okay? I call it pretend visualization, pretend visualization. Pretend as though that goal, put yourself six months through 2021. Pretend to yourself that goal has already been accomplished. And then look back from June, 2021, and look at what must have been done through those six months for that goal to have been accomplished, okay? And from that, you'll see who are you surrounding yourself with? what's scheduled in the calendar, what's made public. I promise you this will help you be 10 times more likely to get your New Year's resolutions actually done. Again, my name is Bill Hauser, CEO of the SMB team. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? And uh, again, we run a rapidly growing marketing company. We're always looking for people to help us 
uh, on our team and um, you know, uh, uh, you know, clients who are a right fit to work with us. So if you ever want to look into us, go to SMB small medium business team. Dot com. We're here to serve you. Subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you have any other videos you want me to make on this and whether you like, dislike, or meh, this video is meh, and uh, I will be sure to up my game. I appreciate you. Stay great and hit your goals in 2021. See you later.